I didn't know that I needed an oscillating tool until I had one. So the question is, is a $35 oscillating tool just as good as the one that cost $240? Let's find out. In the first test, we'll see how quickly the multi-tools can plunge cut through wood. Then we'll compare performance cutting through PVC. We'll see how quickly the oscillating tools can cut through nails. At an absolutely terrific price of only $35 for the battery, the charger, as well as the tool, is this Warrior brand. 12 volt, 1.3 amp hour lithium battery. Battery charger. The kit comes with an Allen hex key in order to change the blade. Six speed control dial to match speed application. The Warrior uses a brushed motor. The Warrior is made in China. Two and a half degrees of oscillation for quick cuts. The Warrior is pretty loud at 87 decibels. Let's go and kick off our first test, seeing how quickly each brand cuts through this half inch OSB. I'll be using a new blade on each of the multi-tools and all the blades will be identical. The batteries will be fully charged before the test begins and I'll test all the multi-tools at maximum speed. I'll be testing all the multi-tools on this tester I put together. I'll first level and align the tools before the test begins. Everything moves nice and smoothly and I've already done a lot of testing to figure out the right pressure. Using a rope and pulley system, we'll first test five pounds of pulling force and then we'll move up to 7.5 pounds to see which amount of force works best for each brand. And the Harbor Freight Warrior is the only brand with a 12 volt battery. All the other brands have from 18 to 24 volts. With only two and a half degrees of oscillation, the Warrior is having a difficult time with chip removal. And the Warrior needed 12.2 seconds to make the cut. Let's see if an extra two and a half pounds of pressure will help the Warrior. And the extra weight really helped a lot. 6.64 seconds or twice as fast compared to five pounds of pressure. At a price of $54 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Heart brand which is sold at Walmart. Variable speed dial allows user control in variety of cuts. The Heart is a 20 volt multi-tool. You'll need an Allen key to change out the blade. The Heart uses a brushed motor. The multi-tool is made in Vietnam, the accessories are made in China. And the Heart is a lot less noisy than the Warrior at 80 decibels. The Warrior needed 12.2 seconds to make the cut with 5 pounds of weight. With 5 pounds of force, the 20 volt Heart is quite a bit faster, cutting through the half inch OSB in 8.8 .8 seconds. The extra two and a half pounds of force for a total of 7.5 really helped the heart improve its speed. 6.38 seconds to take the lead from the Warrior. At a price of $99 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Ryobi 18 volt one plus HP. Up to 30% faster cutting. The oscillation angle is 3.6 degrees. 10 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. It includes a brushless motor. The Ryobi is made in China. Continue to lift the blade release lever to the unlock position, releasing the locking clamp. Slide the locking clamp and open it to the unlock position. Install the blade and then return the locking clamp to the lock position. Lower the blade release lever. And the Ryobi makes the least amount of noise yet at 77.9 decibels. With 5 pounds of weight, the Ryobi is twice as fast as the Heart and three times as fast as the Warrior at only 4.35 seconds. The Ryobi works very well with 5 pounds and the extra 2.5 pounds of force actually slowed down the Ryobi slightly to 5.06 seconds. At a price of $99, is this Metabo HPT? Toolless blade change. Includes an LED light. Brushless motor for higher efficiency. The Metabo has a soft start for user safety. The Metabo is made in China. To change out the blade, you have to push the lever all the way to the forward position. Pull down and rotate the attachment ring counterclockwise. Remove the tool shaft. Once the blade is in place, install the tool shaft, then rotate the attachment ring clockwise. Rotate the lever back to the original position. And the Metabo is by far the loudest yet at 93 decibels. And the Metabo is not only the loudest, but it's also the slowest yet at 14.8 seconds of time to make the cut. Unfortunately, adding the extra two and a half pounds didn't help the Metabo. It performed about the same at 15.3 seconds. At a price of $99 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Rigid brand. The Ryobi and the Metabo also cost $99 and they have brushless motors. The Rigid has a brushed motor. 3.2 degree angle for faster cutting. Variable speed dial provides ultimate control in a variety of applications. The blade change process is the same as the Ryobi. The Rigid is made in China. 80.7 degrees for the Rigid. With five pounds of force, the Rigid made the second fastest cut at 5.67 seconds or just slightly slower than the Ryobi. 7.5 pounds was just too much for the Rigid and it took a little bit longer to make the cut at 8.7 seconds. At $106 for just the tool and not the battery and the charger is this DeWalt brand. Includes a three-speed selector. Brushless motor allows for up to 50% more run time. Dual grip variable speed trigger. Quick change accessory system. Bright LED light. The DeWalt brand is made in Mexico. The DeWalt is a little bit less noisy than the Rigid at 80.6 decibels. And the DeWalt is a little bit slower than the Ryobi and the Rigid at 5.67 seconds at five pounds of force. And the DeWalt has more than enough power for the 7.5 pounds of force and made the fastest cut yet at 4.1 seconds. At a price of $117 for just the tool and not the battery or charger is this Makita brand. The Makita comes with one blade and a couple of adapters. Variable speed 
speed control dial from 6,000 to 20,000 OPM. The Makita has a brushed motor. 3.2 degree oscillation angle engineered for faster, more aggressive cuts. Open the lock lever fully. Remove the holder bolt. Once the blade is in place, go ahead and put the holder bolt back into position. Then return the lock lever to its original position. The Makita is slightly louder than average at 82.6 decibels. And the Makita really struggled to keep up with some of the less expensive brands and finally finished the plunge cut at 9.8 seconds. And the Makita has more than enough power to handle the extra force, cutting through the OSB almost twice as fast, this time at 5.42 seconds to move into third place behind the Roby. At a price of $149 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Bosch brand. The brushless motor offers up to 30% more power and better efficiency. From 5,000 to 20,000 oscillations per minute. It comes with one blade along with a container for storing accessories. To install the blade, you simply press the blade into position. The Bosch includes a brushless motor. It claims to be very lightweight and compact. The Bosch is made in Hungary. 80.4 decibels for the Bosch. Just like the Metabo, the Bosch really struggled to keep up with the less expensive brands. It finally completed the cut in 14.8 seconds. With an extra two and a half pounds of force, the Bosch made the cut nearly twice as fast at 7.35 seconds, which is still slower than average. At a price of $200 for the battery, charger, and tool is this Flex brand. The kit includes a 24 volt, 2.5 amp hour battery, 160 watt fast charger, 20% more power, we're gonna test that, 25% longer run time, brushless motor, includes advanced vibration suppression, we're gonna test that, 3D Starlock connection maximizes exchange between motor and blade, dual LED lights, keyless blade ejection. Changing the Flex blade is very similar to the Bosch. The Flex multi-tool is made in China. And the flex is a little bit less noisy than average at 80.4 decibels. With five pounds of force, the flex is very fast at 5.0 seconds, which is good enough to move into the second position behind the Ryobi at five pounds of force. And the flex moves into the lead at 2.83 seconds. Very impressive. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $219 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is made by Milwaukee. It claims to be the fastest cutting. We're going to test that. Power for demolition. The oscillating angle is 4.2 degrees. Lowest full tool vibration. The Milwaukee is made in China. To install the blade, lift the blade release lever. Unscrew the retaining bolt. Once the blade is in place, reinstall the retaining bolt. Lower the blade release lever. And the Milwaukee is the second least noisy at 79 decibels. Milwaukee claims to be the fastest and the Milwaukee moves into first place over the road with five pounds of force at 3.74 seconds. And Milwaukee has more than enough power to handle the extra two and a half pounds of force and finishes in first place at 2.63 seconds. Very impressive. Some of the saws work better with more pressure than others, so taking the fastest of the two times, the Milwaukee came out on top at 2.63 seconds. The flex is nearly as fast at 2.83 seconds, Dewalt 4.1, Ryobi 4.35, and Makita 5.42 seconds. Tool weight could be a deciding factor in your purchasing decision, and the Warrior is the lightest at 26 ounces. The heart weighs slightly more 27 ounces, Ryobi 31, Rigid 36, and Dewalt 37. Let's measure the tool vibration next using this vibration meter. And the Warrior has a pretty bad case of the shakes at 63 meters per second squared. And the heart performs slightly better at 53, which is still quite a bit of vibration. And the Ryobi vibrates far less than the Warrior and the heart at only 12. The Metabo is pretty loud, and on top of that, it vibrates quite a bit at 55. The Rigid vibrates even less than the Ryobi at only 5.8. The Dewalt is definitely better than average at 18, but it does vibrate a little bit more than a Roby in the Rigid. The Makita vibrates just about as much as the Warrior at 58. The Bosch performed nearly as well as the Dewalt at 23. The Flex also performed better than average at 33. And the Milwaukee performed the best of all the brands at 5, but the Rigid wasn't too far behind at 5.8. So the Milwaukee came out on top with the least amount of vibration at 5. The Rigid performed nearly as well at 5.8, Ryobi 12, Dewalt 18, and Bosch 23. Multi-tools are extremely useful for cutting PVC, so let's test that next with 5 pounds of force. And the Warrior made pretty quick work of cutting through the one inch PVC at 3.28 seconds. And the heart is nearly a second faster than the Warrior at 2.52 seconds. And the Roby is even faster than the heart at 2.37 seconds. The Metabo barely adds out the Harbor Freight Warrior at 3.13 seconds. The Rigid performed nearly the same as the Warrior at 3.28 seconds. And the Dewalt is by far the fastest yet at 1.82 seconds. Very impressive. And the Makita logged the slowest time yet at 3.49 seconds taking almost twice as long as the Dewalt. The Bosch performed about average at 2.88 seconds to move into the fourth position. And the Flex is nearly as fast as the Dewalt at 1.97 seconds. 
Once again, the Milwaukee came out on top at 1.21 seconds. Very impressive. So the Milwaukee made very quick work of the PVC at 1.21 seconds. Dewalt finished second at 1.82 seconds. Flex 1.97, Ryobi 2.37, and Hart 2.52 seconds. Up next, let's see how quickly the multi-tools can cut through four galvanized 16-penny nails, beginning with the Warrior brand at five pounds of pressure. I pre-drilled the holes using a drill press to make sure the nails were very close to perfectly straight up and down. I also aligned the center of the blade with the nails. With only two and a half degrees of oscillation, the Warrior needed 22.62 seconds to cut off four nails. With an estimated 3.2 degrees of oscillation, the heart was able to make much faster work of cutting through the nails at 9.94 seconds. And the Ryobi has 3.6 degrees of oscillation, which gave it a slight advantage over the heart. And the Ryobi moves into first place, cutting through all four nails in 9.78 seconds. The Montabo is advertised with having 3.2 degrees of oscillation, but it actually cuts lower than the Warrior, which is only 2.5 degrees. 36.2 seconds to cut through all four nails. Just like several of the other brands, the Rigid also has 3.2 degrees of oscillation and is only about 2 seconds slower than the Ryobi at 11.76 seconds. Just like the Hart and Ryobi, the DeWalt made very quick work of the 16 penny nails at 10.04 seconds. And Ryobi holds on to a very narrow lead over the DeWalt. Unfortunately, the Makita took quite a bit longer than some of the less expensive brands at 18.35 seconds. And the Bosch made very quick work of the nails at 8.21 seconds. So the Bosch moves into the lead over the Ryobi. And the Flex Tools with 4 degrees of oscillation made this look way too easy at 5.31 seconds and moves into first place over the Bosch brand. And the Milwaukee has 4.2 degrees of oscillation than most of all the brands, helping it cut through all four nails in only 4.1 seconds. Very impressive. So the Milwaukee came out on top at 4.1 seconds, Flex 5.31, Bosch 8.21, Ryobi 9.78, and Hart 9.94 seconds. So just a quick summary of each of the tools from least to most expensive. Compared to the competition, the Warrior is just very slow, the blade change takes more time, it vibrates quite a bit, and it's really loud. However, it is a very light and balanced tool, and it has a narrow diameter, making it easy to grip with just one hand. The Hart is light, well balanced, a little bit quieter than average, and easy to grip, but it's not nearly as fast as some of the other brands. It also vibrates quite a bit. The Ryobi is very light, the fourth fastest on average, it's the quietest tool, vibrates very little, and you can change the blade without tools. Seems like a great tool for only $99. The Rigid is slightly more noisy than the Ryobi, it also weighs a little bit more, cuts a little bit slower, but it doesn't vibrate nearly as much as most of the other brands. Unfortunately, the Matabo is heavy, loud, vibrates a lot, and cuts very slow. It also has a pretty large diameter, sort of like gripping a large pipe, making it difficult to use with just one hand. The DeWalt definitely seems to have the easiest blade chain system, and it cuts fairly fast. It performed extremely well, and I'd rank it in the top three brands. Unfortunately, the Makita is really heavy, loud, vibrates a lot, and has a pretty large diameter, making it hard to use with just one hand. The Bosch seems more refined than the Matabo and the Makita, but it too has a large diameter, making it difficult to use with just one hand. The Flex definitely performed very well with the second fastest average cut speed, and it's a little less noisy than average. However, it is pretty heavy, and it vibrates more than the other top brands. The Milwaukee definitely seems like the best saw. It is relatively quiet, vibrates less than the other brands, cuts the fastest, and is well designed for just one hand use. However, it is very expensive at $220. I have to admit, the Milwaukee did a lot better than I anticipated. I knew it would do well, but it really dominated the showdown. I also liked the Flex quite a bit. For a new brand, it performed extremely well. I really like the Dewalt as well as the Ryobi. I think any of those four brands would be a great choice. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.